welcome back to our fun Friday science lesson. I'm Griffith and this is Mari and today we're going to learn how to measure a tree. Over the past few weeks we've been learning how to observe nature. One of the things that we've learned that's really important is that uh, we want to notice details. So we're going to use our use of detail uh, to learn how to measure a tree today. So we've observed trees from far away, we've drawn them far away, up close. Last week we learned how to identify a tree and this week we are going to identify a tree and then learn how to measure and get its age from that information. So the size of a tree can be an important detail because it can help tell us the age and the health of the tree. Um, so you could just say a tree is small or medium or large, but that's not very descriptive. It's going to give you a rough idea of a tree's size compared to the other trees around it. Um, but if you aren't with the person, that's uh, not going to be very useful. So you can actually use some measurements of the tree to tell you a bit more. So Mari and I are going to measure our first tree. It's important to identify the type of tree first because trees grow at different rates. Um, and so you won't really know the relative size or much about the tree if you don't know what type it is. So we are gonna look at single needles coming out and they're round. Do you remember from last week what kind this is, Mar? A uh, red fir? Yeah, it's a red fir. So we have a red fir and we are going to um, measure how big it is around. So that is the circumference all the way around. And you do that um, at the same height always on the tree. And scientists measure it um, at about four to five feet, four and a half feet or so off the ground, um, which they call the DBH, the, the, at the breast height, BH is breast height. Um, and they usually actually use the diameter. So you measure the circumference and then you can calculate the diameter. So Mari and I are going to take our tape measure um, and measure this. But if you don't have a nice um, meter tape like this that's flexible, it's really possible to measure around with a piece of string and then mark it. And you could use a ruler or a meter stick or something else like that um, to get the measurement. But since we have a nice meter tape, we are going to use that. So Omar, we're gonna be here about four and a half feet off the ground. And can you tell me what number? That's up. 50 centimeters? Yeah, 50. It's 50 centimeters. Good job. Yep. And in science, we usually measure in centimeters or meters um, because it's a lot easier to make conversions using those. The circumference can tell us a lot about the tree, but the height of the tree is also important. It can tell us more about the tree's health, um, its age, maybe the amount of sunlight that's available to the tree. Um, so Mari and I just used an app called Arboreal to measure the height of this tree. Um, you, there are many other apps out there that you can use as well and lots of good online tutorials. If you don't want to buy or find a free app, um, there's also in your um, phones, there's a measuring tool that comes in most phones and you can find the angle to the top in the bottom of the tree and then use trigonometry to calculate the height of the tree. It's a little bit more difficult. We're not going to go into it today. There's tons of online tutorials. So if you want to use some trigonometry and figure out tree height, that's a great thing to learn to do. But today we just used our Boreal app, which um, you start at the tree, you take a, a little picture of it, you walk back and you um, have your phone angled down towards the bottom of the tree, take another picture and then to the top and take a picture and then it spits out the height. Um, and so what it told us about this red fir tree behind us is how tall was the tree, Mar? Um, Remember? Seven, seven meters. meters. Yeah, it was about seven meters tall. Um, that's about 21 feet. So uh, that seems like it is pretty accurate, pretty close to what I would have estimated um, if I had just done an estimate of the tree. 
Griffin and I found another tree with the ground melted out so that we could estimate um, where the bottom of the tree was. And first we're going to use our skills from last week to help identify. Griffin, do you remember which uh, type of tree this is? Those two needles, they come off in a bunch. Lodgepole. Yeah, this is lodgepole pine. Um, and we are going to estimate the size of the tree. So the first thing, like we talked about with Mari, is that trees change um, in how big they are from the bottom to the top. Um, so scientists use about four to five feet off the ground um, to measure the circumference around. Um, and then you can get an estimate again of the diameter. So Griffin and I, um, like you said, you could use a string if you needed to, but we have a nice meter tape. So we are going to measure around the tree. And you gotta keep it consistent height, bud. Come up here. So let's see. So how, what does it say in red over here? Two meters and how many centimeters? 30. 30, yep. So it's 230 centimeters around this tree. And um, is this tree bigger or smaller than the one Mari and I measured? Way bigger. Yeah, this is a much, much bigger tree. Griffin and I use that same Arboreal app that uh, we used, that Mari and I used. It's super easy to use. And what did we find for the height of this tree? 30 meters. Yeah, so it's about 30 meters tall, which is um, a little under 100 feet, you know, maybe about 90, 95 feet. So which tree was older or bigger? Mine. Um, yeah, this one's a lot older or bigger. So you can actually take these numbers and find some online age calculators. So you need to know the species of the tree and the size of the tree, and you can use that to find out the approximate age. I know that some people, scientists, take a core out of the tree. Um, that takes a specialized tool and it can damage the tree. If you have a tree that's fallen over, you can count the tree rings to get the approximate age of the, or the exact age of the tree. But knowing the size of the tree and the type of tree is a really good way to get a good estimate of the age of the tree. Thank you for joining us today. I hope you go and measure some trees in your backyard. Yeah, please share what you find, your measurements and photos with us by either emailing us or using the hashtag HSIObservers.